Hello YouTube, this is Midnight Club Fan 1 here, and today I'll be teaching you how to download custom themes on your Windows XP computer or laptop. So what you want to do is go to Google and type in UX Theme Patcher and search it, obviously, and you'll see download UX Theme pa Multi Patcher 7.1 and all these other ones. So you want to click the first one that I just said and click download right here and it'll take you to this site. I'll zoom it in. You'll see these two. I'll scroll down a bit and you'll see these two. So you'd want to click the US, not the row, but US. And it'll start downloading. And then it'll ask you to save wherever you want. I saved it in my documents. As you can see right there, my documents. So you click save. And then go to wherever you saved it. I saved it to my documents. So again, I go to my documents. And you see it right there. UX patcher. You would want to right click and extract here. When you've done that, this will come up. You would want to double click that. And then this tab will come up. I'll show you it properly. So it will be like that. You wouldn't want to set Windows X Live as default home page. I don't know what that is, but I wouldn't want to do it. So you'd want to uncheck that. Like so. And then you would want to click Restore, which is in the middle. But I've already done it, so I can't do it again. Okay. So you'd want, I would want to click Exit. But you guys would want to click restore, which is right there. And then it will ask to restart your computer or laptop. You'd want to do that. And then when you've restarted and got back to internet, you would want to go to customize.org. I will show you that. So this is how the page would look. Well, this is not how it would look, but... It's www.customize.org. So it would look like this. And you guys would want to go to XP Themes. So you click it. And then you'll have all these different themes that other people made. Because that's what custom theme is. You use other people's themes. Other people's themes that they have made. Okay, you click more. And you click whatever number. So, I'll click three. Because I'm doing this randomly. So, more and more will come. Like when you go to the last, more comes. More, more, more. Choose a random one. So, let's just say I chose this. You click it. And then you'll see this. You'd want to go down, scroll down. And you'll see this button right here that says download file. I'll zoom it in. Download file. Click that. And then you'll see, click here to download HIM, whatever. Well, it's not the one that I've downloaded, but you click it. I'll ask you to save wherever you want. Save it wherever you want, and then I save them my documents. One sec. Yep, right here. And then you click extract here. And then usually you get this. Style skins activated. Well, this is not the only one that comes up, but why would you do, you download different, different ones. Different, different folders will come up, obviously. So you would want to copy that copy and then you go to start run and note this down um c and then that dot dot thing the windows slash resources slash themes um you click ok all right there sorry 
shaky. Okay, and then it'll get you to the normal tab thing. And this is where all your folders are. So, whatever you chose, you have to copy, you have to paste it here anywhere. So, if you paste it right here, it's right there. So, style skins activated. You'd want to double click that and watch this carefully because you'd want to know. So, this is not the, the normal ones are way more easier. But this is a different one. I don't know why they made it like this. But I'll show you carefully. So you see the... For this special one, you have to go to this. And then visual styles. And then don't click this. Never. Click Gizdom XP. Zoom it in. Gizdom XP. And then always click this paintbrush. And then it'll take you to that theme so this is when you know when you really got it this part will change so you'll click ok so and then we'll start this is please wait so change it's changing okay so now I've got it done that's how my one looks right now I'll show you the normal simple ones after this so when you click start and when you download, it'll be all like green, like the normal Vista one. This is all changed. I don't know why this part is messed up. Right there, that thing. Yeah, so that's the hard one that I got. It was very hard, so I don't really recommend getting this theme. So my normal theme, I've only got it in this part, so I'm just... I've only got it right in this themes one, the window slash resources slash themes. I've only downloaded on that. Straight download. So this is what it's called. It's called Inspire It 2. As you see right there where my cursor is. You don't want to double click it. One sec. I accidentally clicked the left mouse. You double click it and then the easy one right here. Shows the paintbrush, that shell thing. And always click that paintbrush, like I said. Not that paintbrush. You don't you wouldn't want to mess with that. You don't want to mess with this one. Double click it. Like usual. It shows you the theme. This is how you know it's actually working. Theme change, like so. And all that. And it says Vista Inspired 2. Don't ever change any of this. Don't. And uh, writing is Calibri. You see right there. Right there. So you're going to click OK. And it says please wait. And there you go, your new theme. It looks like the real Vista. Whoops. Too bright. Okay. Right there. And then you click start. You see that thing. Not all of them have this part messed up, but mine apparently does. So now I'll have to show you how to get your theme back to normal, your old classical one. So all your XBs should have this Windows Classic. You'd want to double click that paintbrush. And then you'd see up there shows that normal ugly classic one. Mine was usually that start button one. That's actually kind of good. You want to go to appearance instead of classic style. You want to change it to XP style, and you see the blue one. You click OK, and then your theme is all back to normal. Right there. So that's about it for today. And this was how to make how to download custom themes for your Windows XP computer or laptop. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and comment. Peace.